Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we have an amazing problem for you guys, man. We're gonna be talking about meeting rooms. So this is a very good, very good problem. So let's see the problem statement, right? So it says given an array of meeting time intervals, right? Where interval i is the start i and end i, right? You know, so determine if a person could attend all meetings, right? So what they mean by that, right? It just means that for maybe a 2D array, right? For each array, we're gonna have a start and end time, right? So just like you see here, okay? And then, um, so we need to determine, guys, right? If the uh, the person, right, you know, can attend all the meetings, right? That's kind of what the ask is, right? So let's go ahead and uh, do a couple of examples to really see what's going on, really, right? So the first example we're given uh, this meeting, right? This list of intervals, right? The list of meeting times, right? We've got a meeting that starts at zero and that ends at thirty, right? Another meeting that starts at five and ends at ten, right? Another one starts at 15 and ends at 20, right? So, uh, so we return false, right? Because guys, right, there's an overlap between, uh, so zero and 30, right? Overlaps with pretty much both meetings, right? So five, 10, and also 15 and 20, 20, right? So because of that, we're returning false, right? We cannot attend all meeting because of this meeting, you know, lasting, you know, pretty much the whole, uh, span, right? Uh, which overlaps with this one right and this one uh, we can attend all the meetings because guys right the first meeting right starts at two and ends at four right and the next meeting that starts right starts at a later time than this finished right so therefore we can attend all the meetings because you know there's no conflict there's no uh overlap right at all going on right so how do we go ahead and solve this problem guys that's kind of what we need to do right you know figure out how we go ahead and solve this problem right so what i'm thinking is we can let's quickly go ahead to the prompts the board right so we could kind of you know kind of visually see it right so we can easily come up with the algorithm right you know that we need to come up with guys right so what's the algorithm that we need right so we see that uh we could visually see right she's the first one rule the second one and the third one right okay so uh we see that you know this is how zero and 30 overlaps with all those different intervals right so that's why we have turned false guys right so what's the easiest way of doing it right? we normally like to start off with the brute force solution guys right you know it's a straightforward one uh that's not uh no clever right and none none of that right so we're gonna be starting our thinking is to just have a um just do a double form guys right and see if any of uh, any two intervals overlap right if there's any uh, conflict right so if there's any overlap between two intervals right we can know for sure that uh we can add all the meetings right that's the straightforward way so what we would do we just do a dual fold for each interval we check you know if there's any overlap between any other um interval guys right you know this will be you know pretty decent right you know it'll be a good start to getting that right that's an easy way of doing it the brute force uh doesn't work require a lot of thinking right it's pretty good right but you can see the time complexity will be n squared guys right which would not be good right so we need to kind of optimize a little bit in the game so how do we be clever how do we solve this guys right let's see um see the way i've got them organized guys right you know uh we know that the intervals right uh maybe we can um what i'm thinking is for each interval right we can start off by sorting everything and put everything in chronological order right? i think that's gonna help us out right so they've given this to us in chronological order already right but you know some input may not have that right so we're gonna have to put it in chronological order first right and once we get that in chronological order guys right what we're gonna need to do is to start thinking um so for each meeting right we check the the next meeting right that's supposed to start after i start right no that the next meeting right so we start everything by start time right to make everything in chronological order right and then we take one meeting and we could easily compare it with the next meeting guys right you know the next meeting will be the earliest meeting that starts after me right so that's why we could easily have that check guys right we check it the next meeting right does it i'll start before i end right if it does guys right then we know that there's a um there's a conflict right because you know uh this is starting before this is starting right you know and we know that there's a conflict right right so it's kind of logical here guys right if 
zero and 30 was in there right? we only had five and ten guys right we would do a check right we would check um since five starts uh, before 15 right so the, this universe start before this one right we check does 15 right does it start before it, this previous meeting right that started right when it ended right no all right 15 starts later than uh this previous meeting ended right so therefore that's why we don't have it uh we don't have a conflict right so this, this example is kind of uh, the the example that I just went over, right? We see that we sort everything by the C710, right? Two, four. Uh, after sorting everything in chronological order, right? We see two, right? Starts here and seven starts there, right? So we check, we see, we're like uh, the same algorithm, right? We check, we could easily check, you know, the next meeting that's after us, right? We see seven, right? So we, we always do that check, guys, right? You know, does the next meeting, right? Does it start uh, later? Or does it start before I end, right? If it starts before I ended, then we know there's a conflict, right? So we're gonna do that, right? We're gonna do check for every interval. Uh, if they're sorting in, we play everything in chronological order, right? Starting it by their start time, right? We check, you know, which meeting, right? We check the next meeting, right? If it uh, starts before the current meeting ends, right? So if there's, if it does start before this meeting, and we know there's a conflict in return, then we cannot. Uh, we can add it to all the meetings, right? So the code will be very, very simple. Uh, I've been simpler than the explanation, guys, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to start off by just sorting everything, guys, right? We're going to sort everything. Intervals. We're going to start it by their start time. So we guess what we're doing here, okay? So that everything could be in chronological order, right? Okay, so now that we have that, guys, right? Uh, we'll do a, a simple loop, a simple, simple loop, guys, right? I is less than intervals, that length, I plus plus. All right, so, uh, okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, do that check that we talked about, guys, right? We could even, like, do eating uh, equals two intervals I right and the uh, next meeting right I'm trying to make it clear for you guys right intervals I plus one right All right, and then we do the check if current meeting right is right the if it ends uh after right so we're gonna check if the next meeting right if the next meeting right started before right this current meeting ended right that's what i'm doing here because at this check right because uh, index one is the end time and index zero is the start time, right? Okay. For each of the different intervals, right? And if that's the case, guys, right? We know, therefore, we cannot attend all the meeting because the next meeting started before, right? The value is less than the current uh, meeting end, right? So which I, the same way I did the example, guys, right? Okay. If there is no conflict, then we can return at the end, guys. We were able to attend all the different meetings, guys, right? Uh, this is a very, very good problem for intervals, guys, right? I like it a lot. So, um, it's a, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty good one. Uh, yeah, so that worked, but I, I know it wouldn't work for certain cases, right? So we do minus one because, you know, I'm doing plus one here, right? And we don't want to get index out of bounds. Let's press submit, see if we pass all the test cases. Awesome, guys. We were able to pass all the test cases, guys. If you guys found a value, you guys enjoyed this video, let me know that in the comment section. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because we'll be doing a lot of other videos just like this one. So um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next.